Hi, this video is meant to help you save questions that you have created for a Schoology test quiz to a question bank, which is a great way to aggregate questions um, so that you can reuse them and create new tests and kind of mix them up. You can also share question banks. You might also be watching this because of the new assessment tool uh, is coming out shortly. And uh, we were told by Schoology to save questions to question banks to make that conversion tool work a little bit easier. So um, regardless of why you're here, here's how you do it. So first, you need to make a question bank. You need to have a bank to save it to. So you can do this in your personal resources area or in the resources area of a group. So I encourage you to use your personal resources area if you're working by yourself on this. So you would go to resources, personal. And then you would go to this add resources area. And there's an item at the bottom, add question bank. And you would create that. And you would give it a name. You could give it a description uh, if that will help you understand what questions are there. You can enable uh, question tracking. Um, that's all totally up to you at this point, um, but you don't need to do that uh, at this step. Uh, and then you click on Create. So when you go down to the bottom, you should now have this new folder. It has a little puzzle piece inside uh, with the name of your question bank. It shows you uh, that it was added by whomever, you in this case, the date, and how many questions are in it. So how do we get our questions in there from a, a test quiz in our course? Well, I'm going to go to a course where I have some quizzes. And I have a factor quiz. And this has quite a number of uh, questions on it. So I'm going to go into the quiz. So I'm going to click on the name of it. Then click on the questions tab so I can see the questions. And then I see there are 66 questions here. Now, I don't need to go individually to these. It's going to be really easy. Um, you could actually do it individually, add to bank, but I'm going to show you a trick. Go to the options menu, uh, and you can select add questions to bank. So it does it all at one shot. And then it's going to ask me which question bank. Or actually, it asks me which questions. So I can um, select all or just specific ones. I'm going to just leave it on select all, click on next. And then here's the option to select the bank. So if I did it in my uh, personal resources area, it's going to be in my home area. Um, and then here are some groups that I could save it to. Um, but I'm going to be doing the home since I'm putting it in my personal resources area. And here is the bank I created factoring questions. Add the questions. And then it tells me it's successfully added. I'm going to go check on it. So I'm going to go to my resource area, go to personal, go down to the question bank. And now it is showing 66 questions. If I click on it, it shows me the questions that it has added. Hopefully this has been helpful.